so I developed a very simple technique for how we can honor that space between appointments. After we've arrived, after we've arrived from some other place or situation, and before we enter that next place or situation, what can we do to connect with ourselves, embody the person we want to be, and enter that next experience in the most aligned, authentic way possible. So it's very simple. Well, first off, it takes the, the discipline and the time management to actually arrive early to create that time and space. So getting there early is the first thing, getting there early. Then once you've landed, once you've arrived, you're in a safe space, take a moment, take a couple minutes, take five minutes, feel into your situation. Five minutes will be beautiful. One minute is better than nothing. And practice a releasing meditation. You can say to yourself with your eyes closed, release, release, releasing, releasing, release. You can use that as a mantra. If you'd like to move away from the content of words and into the feeling of your body and your breath, you can connect very easily and gently to the sensation of your breath. Let your thoughts appear and disappear. Let everything flow through. Simply connect your awareness to your breath. And the intention here in this space is to release and let go of whatever energy is currently alive in your body, whatever content may be still kind of firing away in your consciousness from those previous endeavors and actions, this buffer creates the space to let that energy go. It's an invitation. It's not a forcefulness. It's a, an invitation. It's an allowance. It's it's trusting the intelligence of your body to hit the refresh button to do some house cleaning. So this time and space is really honoring your own body to then do some of that releasing work for you. Your main job is to get to that space, slow down, close your eyes, and honor that. Your body is so intelligent, you don't have to do very much to actually get to that chair, whether it's in your car, park bench, or hotel lobby, wherever you feel safe to close your eyes and let go. So let go for a little bit. And now, once we've cleared that space, once we've, once we've hit the refresh button to some extent, we're dropping more deeply into the present, releasing the past. We've even released the future in these moments. We're connecting to ourselves in the present, releasing past and future. And now once we've laid that groundwork, now we can begin to visualize our next experience. We be can begin to see ourselves and how we would desire to show up. We can even more than just see ourselves, we can feel ourselves in the experience that's to come. F s close your eyes and see yourself and feel yourself showing up in that environment, interacting with those people, having fun, expressing joy, staying focused, being authentic, whatever you most desire from that next experience, that's what you get to visualize yourself embodying and take it a step further, feel, feel the emotional activity, feel the aliveness of those energetics of how you wanna feel in that next experience. So you're actually triggering that event in your consciousness and in your physical body before it happens. 
you're laying the groundwork for what's to come by already experiencing it on a deeper layer, a more subtle layer of your own consciousness ahead of time. So you're priming your brain, your body, and your nervous system to live into that reality, to embody that experience because you've already been setting it up ahead of time. So the first step is to arrive early. The second step is to release whatever residual energies in your space. And the third step is to visualize and feel into what you truly desire to experience and how you truly desire to feel in that next experience coming up. Arrive early, release, visualize and feel. Practice that for a week and let me know how it goes. I guarantee you it, it, it will completely shift the way in which you enter an appointment, a meeting, a commitment. When we're rushing and scrambling, we're like, we're like the pheasant. We see ourselves in a, in a constricted light. Other people are impacted by our behavior. It puts a whole strain on the environment. On the other hand, when we arrive early, connected to ourselves and feeling good, and we know why we're there, because we've already visualized it and felt it in the car or wherever we were, when we walk in with that energy, that's, that's royalty. That's you connecting to yourself as king, as queen, and then you deliver a message of royalty to your environment to the people that you're sharing your space with. We're always communicating on so many levels. So I invite you to practice this three tiered system of how you can show up to your appointments as the king or queen that you are. You get to embody your true royal nature. And that includes how you transition from one activity to the next and how you arrive when you do so. My name is Matthew Spangler of The Meditation Effect. If you'd like to extrapo extrapolate more on these topics, if you'd like to uh, discuss the possibility of learning meditation, breath work, or yoga with me, and if you'd like to discuss the option of working together in a life coaching capacity, please reach out uh, my website is themeditationeffect.com, and I will also definitely leave a link down below. Other than that, you stay strong, you stay powerful, and keep remembering who and what you are, which is love. My name is Matthew, and I will see you very soon. Namaste.